Court. And his student athletes on stage tonight will be Tyler Kolick and Stevie Mitchell. We will take a question for Coach. Okay, in the back, in front of the TV camera. Sydney Staples, D210 Sports. Coach, what legacy would you say you are currently leaving at Marquette? I don't know. We just lost in the Sweet 16. I, I'm not really focused on legacy. I, I did tell the guys after the game in the locker room that, you know, our two seniors, Tyler Kolick and Oso Igadaro, have set an incredible standard over the past three years um, in our program. And, you know, it's, it's really going to be on the rest of us uh, to uphold that standard. And it's going to be tough, but even try to raise that standard. Um, this guy sitting to my right is the best point guard in, in college basketball. And uh, it has been an absolute honor to coach him the last three years. And it's been an absolute honor to coach this entire group. The worst thing about losing today is that, you know, we don't have practice tomorrow. We don't have another game to prepare for. Okay, let's move to questions for Tyler and Stevie. We'll come back for Coach in a few minutes. Okay, first question for you guys is here on the aisle on the right. Uh, ben Steele, Milwaukee Journal Central. Tyler, like, how do you balance your individual accomplishments over the last couple of seasons with the, with the early tournament exits? Um, I mean, not many people make it to the Sweet 16. I think eight teams were the eighth team all time, so I wouldn't say that's that's early. Um, you know, I'm just happy to be out there every time with my guys. And like Coach said, you know, just disappointed that it's over. I think we have some questions here on the left. We'll go to the aisle first. I guess both the student athletes, uh, you know, progression every year made the tournament we're supposed to, you know, second round, now sweet 16, same progression, but just that and also just finishing strong. Several times this year, y'all been outplayed the first half and really come back and outplayed the opponent's second half. I mean, St. John's, Purdue was beating them. Does it, does it take anything that the you know, second half you outplayed them, the shots just didn't fall versus the first half? Any momentum from that once you reflect on the season? And you want both to respond? Okay, Stevie, why don't you go first? Uh, I mean, I don't think there's any moral victories at this point. Uh, I mean, I don't think, you know, shots were falling us throughout the game, but, you know, we pride ourselves on the defensive end, and I don't think we, as a team, did what we needed to do clearly to, you know, you know, win anyway when the shots weren't falling. Um, we've done it before this year, but today we weren't able to. Hey, Tyler. Yeah, uh, that's why it's a 40-minute game. You're going to play both halves. Um, you know, they got up big in the first half. We came out in the second half. They, they in That first round, they got an even bigger lead. Uh, we didn't come out how we wanted to. But, you know, we, we scrapped the rest of the game and, and fought back and gave it all we had. Okay, we'll stay here on the left, I think, in the middle. Skyler Dixon with the AP. Tyler, when the shot and shooting has kind of abandoned the whole team. How, how do you keep battling and just focus on trying to stay in the game? Yeah, like Stevie said, uh, on the defensive end, uh, I don't know, we, yeah, 67 points we held them to. That's not bad. Uh, you know, the first half we could have been a little better. But just, just keeping faith in the guys and, and keep giving them confidence because I'm, I'm going to keep finding them, and they know that, um, and, and they know I got the confidence in them to keep shooting it. Other questions for Tyler or Stevie? No questions for the student athletes, okay. I will let you return to the locker room, guys. Uh, I know there will be some one-on-one -on -one questions there for you. Thank you for coming, Thank and uh, congratulations on a great season. Good to have you with us here in North Texas. Thank you. Questions now for Coach. Okay, Coach, we'll be on your right here on the aisle. Uh, Shaka, this group accomplished a lot over the last couple of seasons. Uh, you know, I know you had guys had lofty goals heading into this tournament. Is it is it hard not to view the end as a as a disappointment? We just lost. 
Of course, it's a disappointment. So it can be a disappointment whenever you lose your last game. I mean, we, we go into every game expecting to win, wanting to win. That's our goal. So we just lost those guys. Did you see the game? I mean, those guys gave everything they had. Um, the amount of blood, sweat, and tears that they've shed over the course of this season, are we disappointed? Absolutely. Okay, I think we have a question from Zoom, right, Debbie? Yes, we have a question from Dan. Dan, please unmute yourself, state your name and affiliation, and then ask your question. Dan Tortora, Wake Up Call, DT.com. Coach, before this game, I spoke with you about the relationships with this team and just the connection that you have and the type of student athlete you look for. Despite this being a tough night, just what you can say in reflection on the student athletes that you've gotten to lead this season and just what they mean to you and what they mean to each other. Yeah, they, I mean, this is at least tied for my favorite team I've ever coached. Uh, you know, we have extremely high character guys, guys that to a man uh, care about one another, work, work to multiply one another during practice, during games, off the court. Um, special leadership from Oso and Tyler. And again, that's why it's so uh, devastating for the season to end because, you know, we felt like this was a team that, that could keep playing, you know, beyond today. Uh, but, you know, NC State deserves a ton of credit. You know, they played with great uh, force, aggressiveness. I thought they did a good job getting us on our heels in certain possessions on offense. Um, and they went and took the game. Okay, here on the aisle. Uh, Shaka, Oso didn't seem like himself during the NCAA tournament. Didn't seem like he had the same explosiveness. Was that injury related or what do you, what do you think was the deal there? No, it wasn't injury related. I think uh, Oso cares deeply. And, you know, he, he is one of the most conscientious basketball players I've ever coached, one of the most unselfish, the most unselfish of, of the, the really good players that I've coached. Um, and, you know, I, I think he came to battle um, and fight for his team. Uh, I think there were some games where a couple things didn't go his way. Um, there's definitely some plays that we would want to have back. Uh, but, you know, listen, uh, we win as a team, we lose as a team. And the guy's been a huge part of winning more games that have been won at Marquette in a two-year two stretch than I think anyone else. So um, we love him. We're going to miss him. We're grateful for him. I think we will have a follow question here on uh, Coach's right. Uh, just four for 31 on threes. I mean, what do you think you could have done differently on offense? Uh, I mean, you've heard me say this before. There's a, there's a Santa Claus's list. Uh, but that's really, really easy in retrospect. Uh, this is a team that um, – at, at a lot of different points of this season has been terrific on offense, um, you know, led by Tyler and the way that he plays. Um, so we were going to trust and, and lean into what's allowed us to be good. Um, you know, I, I think when we watch the tape, we will see that, you know, their physicality and aggressiveness um, disrupted us at times. Uh, you know, certainly some things that we, we – we could have or should have done differently a bit against that just to kind of meet force with force. Um, and it wasn't that we do, didn't talk about that during the game. Um, a lot of the three-point shots we got were good. Didn't make nearly enough. I mean, it's going to be hard to win if you go four for 31 as a team. Um, but our guys, you know, they <laughs> they tried to find a way to win even, even despite that. And... You know, as Stevie mentioned, you know, our mentality is even if we have a tough shooting night, find a way to win anyway. Um, and we weren't quite good enough on the defensive end um, to get, 
to get that done with the shooting night that we had. Okay, any other questions for Coach? Okay, we have one final question that will be on the aisle. We'll have a mic there in just a second. Paul Frischner, Big East Digital Network. Shock, you talked last week about building this program. What do you want or hope, I guess, to take away from this group and building this Marquette program for the future and what they did now in year three for you here? Well, I mean, there's so many things we can take out of this season, so many things we can take out of today. You know, it's – and I, I understand, you know, from the outside, maybe the the propensity to, to view this game in a vacuum. But um, we played 37 games this year. And, you know, we've, we've been through so many different experiences. Our guys have those in their pocket. Um, today was not our best game. It wasn't. Uh, and that's what probably stings the most because you want to play your best at the very end. But you know what? NC State had a lot to do with that. They deserve a lot of credit. Um, what can we take out of the game? I mean, a ton. There's so many lessons, motivation, um, you know, different things for different players that we could have, um, you know, done better for our coaching staff. You know, I, I think our guys' connectivity throughout the season has been terrific. Uh, I definitely think we had some guys pressing a little bit today, uh, you know, for whatever reason. So, you know, our job is to help these guys go let their hair down and attack and play. Uh, but they're human beings. You know, I think that's probably something that we understand a little bit better internally than, you know, folks that haven't played or coached, which is, you know, part of it. Um, but I'll go to war with this group at any point. And, you know, we've got some good young players that we're excited about getting better and improving. Um, and just like last year, this experience will drive us. This experience will inform, you know, a lot of the things that, that we do over the course of the next several months. And our guys will come together and improve and go after being the best version of us the next time we get a chance to play. Thank you. All right, Coach. Thank you so much.